G'day everyone, joined by Tom up at Uriah. Time to take a look at our runners on the weekend. Let's kick off at the Valley uh, tomorrow night. Um, in the opening event on the card, we have a debutante by Animal Kingdom out of Victory Party called Victory Kingdom. Uh, she looks to go quite well on what I've seen her at home and in the jump outs, so I'd expect her to be competitive. Race two over the mile, Caravan, Michael Walker, gate three. I thought her first up run was really good. Um, she looks to have shown nice improvement. These races are always competitive, um, but I think the mile should suit. Race three over the 1500, Peerless for Luke Nolan in gate eight. She's been racing consistently. She won and then was placed last start. Um, this is coming back 100 metres in distance, uh, but she's a horse that sits close to the pace and is nice and fit. Over to the final event on the card, over the 1200 metres, first up from a spell, Boo Radley for Luke Nolan in gate two. Um, he, he's gone okay at the jump outs. His last jump out, um, he played up in the gates and missed the start. Uh, he's a, been a horse that started favourite plenty of times throughout his career and been a bit frustrating, but hopefully we can start the prep off uh, well in this sort of race. On to Saturday and up to Sydney, we've got a couple of runners at Warwick Farm in the opening event over 1200 metres for two year olds, Sebra Kate for Jean Van Overmeer in gate four. He's been racing well, he should get a good run from the gate and he goes into blinkers for this. And the second of our runners comes up in race eight over the 1300 metres, Smarter Listen for Tim Clark in gate 14. We'll need a little bit of luck from that gate, we'll have to go forward. Um, he's a horse that uh, has got nice ability, uh, he was thereabouts last start. If he gets the right run in the race, he's definitely an each way chance. Cross to Adelaide on Saturday in the opening event, over 1,050 for two year olds. After a first start third, Wiseman, Corey Parrish in gate three. Yeah, he had absolutely no luck at his first start. Um, he goes into a set of winkers for this, and I think now that he's had that race day experience, he'll be competitive. Over to race three, over the 1,050 metres, last start winner, Dame of Thrones for Corey Parrish in gate two. Uh, she led and won uh, at Echuca. Uh, she's done well since that race. This gives an opportunity to try and make her a city winner. And Corey Parrish won on her last start too, so she looks well placed. Back to Flemington on Saturday in the opening event over 1,400 metres. Notation, Fred Kersley in gate nine. She ran well last start. Uh, she had one go at Flemington in the 1,400 over cup week. It was a little bit disappointing, went hard on that occasion. But she's a winner over 1,300, so this looks a nice race for her. Race two, over the 1200 metres, first up from a spell, poised to strike Craig Williams, gate 11. Uh, he's got nice ability, he performed well in Adelaide last campaign, and he's been performing well at the jump out, so I'd expect him to run well if he handles the straight. Race three, over the mile for the Phillies and Mares, last start winner Shakora, Fred Kersley, gate five. Yes, yeah, she's in good form, looks to come into this race well, and I think she's got a good chance here again. Race four, over the 2500 metres, Pillow to Say, Fred Kersley, gate four. Ran really well in the Ballarat Cup, and he was disappointing last start at Pakenham. Um, this is a smallish field, and comes into the race well with a claim. Race five over the 1400 metres, Souffrant, Fred Kersley, gate one. Uh, he was an improved run last start. Uh, he looks fitter now heading into this, and also comes into well with a claim. Over to race eight, over the 2000 metres, two runners. The first is Golden Main for Fred Kersley in gate 15. Um, he's got reasonable form at this track and distance. Uh, the gate is a horse that he naturally gets back, so if the race is run to suit, um, he should be doing his best work late. Uh, the second of our runners is the consistent credence for Craig Williams in gate 10. Um, I think with Craig aboard, uh, he's a horse that we feel should have won last start, so I think he's got a top chance. And in the final event on the card, down the straight over the 1200 metres, uh, Brahmos drawn the outside in gate 18. He looks to have definitely come on from his first up run. He's got a top jockey aboard, um, and I'd expect him to run well. He's one that the punters could follow into the prep. And have you got a best for us for the weekend, Tom? Um, I think that Credence is our best chance. Thanks, Tom.